Hi guys, welcome to our second topic in our first week in learning um, robotics in the entire semester. So for this topic, we will talk about robotics design process. But before we will go and proceed with our topic, I want you to think of a design. I want you to think of a designing a robot. So I want you to imagine as well how design affects the performance, the aesthetic, and also the structure of a robot. Because basically, in designing a robot, we need to make sure that you are following these process. So let me start by introducing to you the first process, which is defining the problem. So in defining the problem in the robotics process, in this part, we are identifying the purpose of the construction or the creation of our robot. There's also, uh, there, should be all, uh, there should be always a reason why we are creating this robot. Next, we need to identify as well the specific requirements. What are the requirements needed? For example, if you determine that um, if you determine that the issue needs to have a, an interaction or a user interaction, make sure that that user interaction will be included in your solution. Okay, so again, we are still defining the problem. Next process, we have researching and designing. In this part, we are going to design, I'm uh, sorry, we are going to gather the information why this problem exists. Next, we need to identify the specific details of the design which must be satisfied. Of course, there should be a user experience, okay? So make sure that the user will be satisfied with the solution that you're gonna propose. Next we need to identify the possible and the alternative design solutions. So in, in identifying the solutions, of course, you need to make sure that that, solu uh, that, um, that solutions uh, will be directed to the problem that you identified in the first phase. And lastly, uh, we need to plan the designing or we need to plan and design an appropriate structure with, uh, which includes drawings. Basically, this is the part where uh, we will create our prototype. Okay, so in researching and also in, desi uh, in designing, we need to answer these following questions. Okay, so what is the practical function of the design? So what must my robot do? First, we need to touch again the four, I'm sorry, Actually, it's not only four because I also inserted the manipulation part here. Diba? There are four essential characteristics of a robot. So in the, in the movement part, um, how will the robot move within its environment? So if it, uh, if it were put in a different environment, how would be or how would it still be able to move within the new space? So for example, your robot is only intended for indoor. So, if ever that um, if ever that your robot will be placed outdoor, what are the limitations or what? I'm um, saying hate about seeing robot. Okay, next the manipulation part. How will the robot move or manipulate other objects within its environment? Can a single robot move or manipulate more than one kind of object? So, for example, your robot is designed to look for a trash and put the trash inside its body so how can the robot or what uh, you need to identify what should be the angle or what should be um, the position or the structure of your robot so that the robot can easily get the trash okay next one the energy how is the robot powered? Is it powered um, uh, using solar or using a battery only? Like that one. For the intelligence part, how does the robot think? So what does it mean to say that a robot thinks? So basically, 
if your robot it, it's intended to look for a trash, what type of sensors are you going to use? Right? So on that part, um, we will also touch the sensing part. So for example, um, we will use an ultrasonic sensor so that if ever, or for example, um, there's a, an, aside from the ultrasonic sensor, uh, there's also a sensor that will detect um, the plastic. So if ever that the robot will detect the plastic, um, uh, the robot will get the plastic and put it inside your um, inside its body. That's actually the practical function of the design. Another one, another question. What does or what part does appearance or the shape the form, the surface texture, and the, and the color play in the design's function. What does the robot look like? And is there any reason for it, uh, for it to look as it does? So basically, we need to take note about the designing part. There's also a reason why we are, um, we are using this type of shape. We are using this type of form for our aesthetic or for our quality of the robot or for the ergonomics of the robot so there are some um, there are some robots that are actually not uh, not uh, not rectangular or squared shape they um, they actually propose to be in a triangle uh, triangular shape because again if we will talk about um, ergonomics um, triangle it's the uh, um, it can sustain um, um, it can sustain strength or um, a high juke, a high heavy strength and also for the stability right also aside from determining that uh, you need as well to um, surface the texture um, finish and color can be appropriate to a design so for example your robot it's intended for outdoor so make sure that the color or the texture of your robot can adopt to the environment itself okay so we also have optical and thermal properties the durability or the flexibility of our robot okay we also need to consider about that one third question what are the materials suitable and needed for the design so if we are talking about the materials or the specification of our robot again we need to go back what's the purpose of the robot so for example the robot it's for outdoor then your materials are only for indoors what if it will rain so the robot will uh, the robot will not function because um, because na naulanan siya right so you need to take uh, you need also to consider that fact okay fourth question what construction methods are appropriate for the design so you you can use cutting and shaping. You can actually go to Fab Lab if you want. You can do the fabrication. You can do the molding. You can do the casting and all of that. Fifth question and the last question for researching and designing. What are, uh, what are the likely social and environmental effects of the design? So if we will talk, uh, if we will talk about this one, what are the effects or how this robot can affect um, the environment or our society if this robot is helpful or this robot is usable or not like that one okay so those are the questions that you need to answer in researching and also in designing your robot okay so if we will uh, go back to gathering information it can basically involve reading. Um, you can actually search from the internet and read some articles about designs or about designing a good robot. Uh, you can also do listening, conducting research, I'm oh, sorry, conducting, and also interviews and observing. Okay. Another one is specification. We, uh, I believe that I shared earlier that Aside from the materials, the specification. Basically, the specification it is a detailed description of the problem to be solved. So it should spell out exactly what the design must achieve. Okay? 
So those are the materials needed. Okay. Third process or the third phase, we have creating a prototype. So after defining or determining the problem, after analyzing and researching and designing the solution, this time we will now create our prototype. And in creating our prototype, of course, we need to test it. If the design is good, all we need to do is to validate it by informing the stakeholders or uh, if there is an approval coming from your user that the design is good. Another one, uh, we also need to troubleshoot the design if ever that this, is, uh, this, this design is not effective. Okay. After building or creating your prototype, this time we are now building our robot. So again, um, just like what I shared earlier in building your robot, there's, there's a lot of methods to do so by um, um, cutting, um, we also have um, casting and molding, and there's a lot of ways. But again, it depends on your solution. Second to the last, we have programming and testing. Actually, this is quite related to the previous space because uh, when you um, build your robot, of course, you need to insert there the intelligence or the brain of the robot. So after um, inserting the code, this time you also need to test it if the sensor gets the correct range or if the sensor gets the correct output. If the sensor... Um, um, if the result of the sensor um, um, that's actually your expected output or the expected value of your sensor okay you need to test that one and lastly we need to evaluate your robot so in evaluating your robot there's a lot of ways first first we need to evaluate the design if we can improve the design uh, based from the uh, from the um, survey, for example, or the questionnaire that you that you will uh, that you given or that you gave to your um, stakeholders. Another one is you need to evaluate the planning process. If this plan can be, uh, if this plan or steps are actually redundant to the other steps, you can actually remove that or create a new plan. Okay. So these are the sample questions in evaluating your robot. First question, how well, uh, how well does the design function? Next, does the design look good? Is the product safe to use? Um, did I plan my work adequately? Did I find the construction straightforward or difficult? Where are the most suitable materials used? Did they cost more or less than expected? And lastly, how could I have improved my design? So basically, in evaluating your robot, this is the part where you can go back to the iteration. Because after getting, um, um, you can go back to the process. Because after getting the, um, after getting the results of this evaluation, you can, um, you can actually improve your robot in such way that you can improve the design, um, the specification or the material should be needed in the robot itself. Also, you can actually change um, the planning process on how you build the robot. For example, um, if you're the manager in, um, in the robot manufacturing company, um, how, many, um, how many manpower or how many employees or um, how many engineers you want to um, you, you want to hire for this uh, for this particular uh, for this particular project okay that's actually the process or the um, robotics design process and it's actually related to your exercise I want you to read the exercise that I posted in your laboratory uh, in our Google classroom and I want you to do it individually